Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Ben and Sen. My name is Ben and this is Sen. This is who? Sen. This is who? Stop. <laughs> what? What the hell is wrong with you? All right, guys. So, um, Hurry up, man, it's hot. Today's topic will be um, pretty much, which is gonna keep it simple, is like ten countries uh, we would like to visit in the future. So, are you ready to get into it? I just realized that when we made our list, that it wasn't ten because I think. There was a spot on the list that both of us wanted to go to, so that's technically nine. Nine? Uh, I mean, that's fine. I, I could just change it. No, you don't have to change it. It's just, we'll just add in a bonus. Okay, it's so pretty much just nine countries. Because, how about if we No, we'll do ten. It's just, it's going to be a bonus. There's going to be an extra that we talk about. No, how about if, if you visit that country separately? It doesn't matter. It's still, no. The place, the title of the video is 10 countries that we'd like to visit. You know what I just So even if we did five and five, if one of the places both of us have it, it's not 10 countries. It's only 10. It's never 10, it's only nine. You know what I'm saying? So we have to do a bonus. All right, I got it. So you so go first. So I'll put the bonus. No, you go first. I always go first. All right, you know. The first country, will be just you talking to them not to me sorry i have to show y'all my crusty nails the first country will be italy that's for you yes okay and i love i mean i would love to go there you're kind of hungry i'm not even gonna hold you i want a snack a snack a snack and guess what i'm crazy Cheetos? Cheetos. Cheetos? Uh, like the puffs that you had yesterday. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I like the whole pie, bro. Italy? No, we shared it. Yeah, but you only got like a few. Yeah. Yeah, but I Italy. Okay, Italy. Yeah. Sorry, back to it. Italy. Italy, man. Um, Is there a reason you'd like to visit Italy? I always, I mean, Ever since I was young, I always heard they had a good suit and nice perfume there. And I love suits, even though I barely wear suits. Like, I have suits, I probably just wear like each suit. I feel like even one time. if you bought, exactly. I feel like even if you bought a suit, you probably wear it once and that's it. Like, it's literally there collecting dust and he's never gonna wear it again. Unless he's probably like ancient pardon me and he has to go to like his child's wedding or something like that he'll probably bring out the old ugly suits yeah, they're gonna be ugly then yeah, they're gonna be so out of style all my suits are like brand names but i didn't talk about the brand i said they're gonna be out of style hey but like the old times classic. are constantly changing no classic like the baggy suit that they used to consider sexy back then now men are wearing fitted suits Yes or no? So the style changes. You don't know what's gonna happen. I can't even say a few years from now because we don't even have a kid yet for you to wear a suit for an occasion. So, oh, yeah. it'll be baptism. Oh, yeah. your kid gets baptized in church. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you going to baptize your kid? Don't you always have to present the child in church? Yeah, I'm quiet. Mm. I thought it was good luck or something. I don't know the meaning behind it. I just always grew up seeing it, so I just figured you gotta do it. My first country is, don't laugh at me, because I believe it's the Maldives, but I've heard Maldives, I've heard Maldives. So whichever one it is, that's where I wanna go. Why do I wanna go there? First of all, that water is so, blue it is beautiful and i love the fact that they have like those huts where you literally just come out and you're surrounded by water like you could walk out of your hut straight into water like that's just so beautiful i can't swim but i still think it's beautiful 
So yes, my first place is the Maldives. And for me, the second one will be um, St. Martin. You've talked about that for a very long time. I was actually, I was actually um, was going there for my 25th birthday, but for some reason I didn't go. I even started looking up tickets and stuff. Yeah, I really was gonna go for my 25th birthday. It just fell through. It just fell through. Why do I never do my hair for our videos anymore? I feel like I, I just don't try. Negligent. No, I just don't try anymore. I don't do my makeup. I don't do my hair. Y'all just see what I look like on a daily basis. Like natural, natural, original. My second one is Santorini, Santorini, Greece. First of all, I love this place because of the pictures. Obviously, I'm, I have very simple travel dreams because I go nowhere. So. <laughs> Some of the places on my list are places that people have probably gone to like 10 times already. And I'm 25 and I've never visited these places once. But yeah, Santorini, Greece, the pictures of that place are beautiful. Like there's there's this one picture that like is completely viral where it's like all of these white, um, I don't know if they're like hotel rooms or if they're like cabins, whatever they consider them to be. But that setup is just Santorini, Greece is definitely a bucket list place that I'd like to go to. The third one for me will be Bahamas. The reason why is because there's a lot of good commercials about the... Um, the resorts and stuff? The resorts, uh, the whatever, like it's pretty, it seemed like a nice country for me. And I, I would love to visit that in Spain sometime there, but even though I like I would love to go on vacation. I don't feel like I can spend more than two weeks out of US. Why? Like I'll be so uncomfortable. Why? I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm used to US. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I got I got definitely cannot go on vacation for more than two weeks. Nah. That's good to know. Nah, I can't. I probably do like four days and come back. And go back again. Uh, yeah. What? If I could go on a month vacation, I'd be out. Not a month in one place, though. Like, I would want to go to different places. Like, I'd probably spend a week in, in Maldives, a week in, in Greece, a week in the Bahamas, a week in here, a week in there. Nah, man. And before you know it, like I like I'm, I'm, like I'm international, baby. My third one is also the Bahamas because it's the Bahamas. Who doesn't want to go to the Bahamas? It's the Caribbean. It's a beach. It's beautiful. It's sandy. It's just oh, it, 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 oh, that's like your name, right? Sandy. My name is Cindy. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. uh -uh. I just I I don't know I just like beachy places I feel like every place that I put well no not every place most of the places I try to be a little more open-minded when I pick my places because I feel like everywhere that I want to go is like beachy I just want to sit on the sand and be lazy mind you I'm not even a big fan of the sun because of my freckles and all that stuff making me more prone to skin cancer so like i'm not a big fan of the sun so i'd be that one that's under a big huge umbrella <laughs> on the beach but still i don't know i like the vibes of like summer and water and chilling and relaxing and sipping mai tais and pina coladas and long island iced teas and eating food and you know drinking and you know, exploring, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, no. okay, next. <laughs> My fourth one, Jimmy. Why be... are you laughing at me? I don't know, it's too bad you were going nuts. My fourth one will be Jamaica. 
I think almost everybody want to visit jo jo Jamaica. Yeah. Mm. I would like to visit Jamaica, but it's not like a, oh my gosh, I want to go to Jamaica. Only because, oh, well, it's, I guess it's kind of like the Bahamas. It's just so common. I've seen so many pictures and videos of people in Jamaica that I feel like I've gone there already. <laughs> I'm so serious. Like, I feel like there's nothing to for, for me to come and be like, wow, surprise. I feel like I'm going there and I already know what I'm getting because I've seen so many people go to Jamaica. I've seen all the resorts. Well, I haven't seen all the Well, yeah, I've seen pictures of all the resorts. So it's like not really anything for me to be like, oh my God, Jamaica. <laughs> you know? So oh, you, 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 you already explored Jamaica. I've, I've been to Jamaica through the eyes of other people. That's good. Makes sense? Yeah. My fourth one is Paris. Why would you want to visit Paris? It's a country of love. The city of love? Romance. Romantic? No, just romance. The Eiffel Tower. I think they took down that, um, that gate, the lock gate. Do you know what that is? Yes. Because you went to Paris, the one where you put your lock on it and yeah. stuff like that. Did they take that down? When I was there, it was still there. It was still there? Yeah. They probably just stopped allowing people to put new locks on it because apparently it was getting like. Okay. Yeah. Like, oh, I always wanted to put a lock there. But I think you wish you had my aunt. If, she, if they could still put locks on it? Yeah. Yeah. But she, she probably don't know because it's right there next to us. I feel like, like I feel like if we went to Paris and didn't stay at your aunt's house, she'd be upset. Like if we went to Paris and stayed at a resort, I feel like she'd be upset. <laughs> you would want us to stay with her, no? Yeah. <laughs> right? So your last one is. Oh then. I, I thought that was you. My last one would be Guyana. I don't know, for some reason, it's like most of the places or like the Caribbean for me. And that's where you're from, which is weird because most people want to explore outside of where they're from. Yeah. Like, it's, it's some like... But why Guyana? You just said Guyana, you didn't say why. It's just pretty much the same culture as Haiti. Like they... Really? Yeah, like when I spoke, speak to people, it's just like they all have kidnapped, whatever. It's just... Who doesn't have kidnapped? No, All I, the Caribbean countries, even um, like the southern South American Spanish countries have kidnapped, they call them kidnappers. No, it's just like the way the country structure is just like, it's just a little, a little bit more security than my country. So why do you want to go to Guadeloupe when you retire, when you can go to Guyana, if it's the same thing? I don't know, it's just like Guyana, it's like because like sometimes it's some of them speak English. I think Gradlo is like strictly Patua or whatever. But yeah, but that is just so like. So now I'm gonna be stuck having to learn Patua if we go to Guadeloupe when you retire? No, you have to learn it. Because I'm, I'm if I'm gonna be living there till the day I die. But even I me, have to speak the language. Even me right now, I I, I, I don't know a word in Padua. So why do you want to go somewhere where you have to pretty much go back to school? I don't know. It's like a random choice. Like he couldn't say, oh, let me move to... Yeah, I know. Where? <laughs> it started with C. Where? So we see. No. Where? Canada. Canada. Canadian. No, that's not what I was gonna say. I was gonna say. I was thinking actually. <laughs> I didn't pick a place yet. I was uh, actually, but I was actually thinking of something like in America. Probably like the down south Florida. I feel like <laughs> every person they they get older and they say, "Let me move down south though." Oh, Georgia. Most of them moved to Florida. So I said, that's a Florida earlier. And he said, no. No, you said down south. Yeah, that's a Florida. Oh. I feel like everybody retires and moves to Florida. 
wonder why. Because it's cheaper over there and it's still in the US. And then there's no state tax. My last one. I want to go to Dubai. Yeah, I, uh, I hear you guys for that. I just know going to Dubai will be expensive as heck. As heck. But I really want to go there. Ride a camel. Oh, I'll be so scared. <laughs> but I still want to ride a camel. How, how much is the ticket just, just to go there? I don't know, but I know it's expensive as hell. Bonus location. Bonus location. Bonus location. Bonus location. Bonus location. How about St. Lucia? I feel like that's like a, a, a typical honeymoon spot too for a lot of couples. You get married and then go get, go honeymoon in St. Lucia or Bahamas. <laughs> but yeah, it's another beachy place. That's another beachy place. I'll give you credit for that too. Beast shit. With that being said, we at, hey, I, we have to wrap it up. We can't just cut it off. So that was all of our spots that we'd like to visit. Are we going to visit these places? Hopefully. Will we visit them in the next five years? Probably not. Maybe some of them. Uh, who knows? Uh, you know, I'm broke, so I can't speak on that right now. Black Bay, we can be doing that. With that being said, we ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Smash that notification bell so that you guys are notified when we post again. Okay. Without further ado, one, two, three. Now, this, this one is like... I was just trying to switch.